Hi. I know it's been a bit. It's always a bit, isn't it? Um, I have a good excuse this time. There's been a lot of shit going on. And like, a lot of testing my mental ability stuff. So we'll go through that tonight. So I'm gonna do just an update. And then I'm gonna do a video, hopefully tomorrow, of what I have in my kid boxes. Cause I swear I'm gonna do kid stuff. Um, and then just so you know of what I've got kind of in the works, a friend of mine, Michelle, who's very bold and I love, um, is gonna come over and do a question and answer thing because I've had a lot of random questions come in that I think instead of taking a whole video and doing a topic per thing, which isn't big enough, we're just gonna kind of do quick question and answer, hopefully things people wanna know, or even from her perspective, I'm sure she will ask a few questions. And then the other thing that I talked to a friend of mine about, um, he owns, my friend Lewis and his husband Michael own a wellness center uh, down the street from our house. And they focus on, um, he takes breathing, he does breath work. So he teaches breathing classes um, similar to meditation where you're just focused on your breath and trying to just get the icky air out and get the good air in and just learn to just be by yourself and think, I love it. So Lewis is going to do a free class. I mean, free, unless you want to pay me and send me money. I should have told everybody to bring a drink or a smoke. Okay. Health update for Pete's sake. Um, a lot has gone on. So the week of April 20th was my birthday week, but it was also um, scan week. So I got my brain scan first and got my results and everything has either is either stable or shrinking, which is great. There was one spot um, on like the second scan I had that they thought was a new sixth spot, but they realized if it was, it's gone. Or if it wasn't, whatever it was, maybe could have been a shadow or who knows what. So either way, we still only have five friends, which is five more than I would like. But they're being good friends and shrinking, so that's great. Uh, and then my PET scan. Oh, okay, hold on. So then my radiation oncologist is like, oh, P.S., uh, I just found out that I'm no longer going to be working in this office and that I'm leaving. And we don't really know every detail yet of where I'm going or what the phone number is going to be. And I said, um, okay, so luckily we don't have to do anything, but wait, what? So luckily he's just changing offices. So I'm still gonna be able to go to him. I'm hoping that the insurance is still the same, but um, I don't have, basically there's like this ghost period now, which thank God I don't need him, but um, we've got about six weeks where he's not working in an office or working really, he's changing. So, um, kind of a little anxious about that if we're, if we're honest, even though I don't, it's still just what happens if something happens with my brain. I, he doesn't have a number right now. So I've got four more weeks of that. No, three more weeks. Um, 
then I went in for my PET scan results and my bones have shrunk or are staying the same, which is great. However, my liver is not doing so fabulously. Um, I have two spots on my liver that are a little bit larger than they would like. And then I have a few little spots. Um, but because an organ is more important than a bone, we're gonna assume that this treatment is not working. And so they started me on Gemzar, which is an IV chemo, which um, if, anybody's, if anybody's taken notes, I've done this one before because we're out of options, except for Doxel is my only option I've not tried. Um, but so what's happening is we're going back through them. And when we were discussing my PET scan results, my doctor was like, you know, when you did this one, we paired it with ta um, with Taxol. So I did Taxol and Gemzar in a dose. Then I did it a week later. And then I did just Gemzar the third week. And now we're just going to do Gemzar because I've ran out of, run out of, um, dosing for Taxol. You can only have so much in a lifetime. Uh, but I'm coming up on five years and so then I can have it again. You can have it every five years. So liver growth. Um, which has caused me to start puking again, even though I'm on a daily antibiotic, antibiotic, anti-nausea. But, um, so we might just need to update, up, up dose me and see if that's going to help. Um, but so then while we're talking, my oncologist tells me, my Dr. Jones, the Dr. Lee, uh, Dr. Jones, uh, he's moving to Santa Barbara. So we got to start over again, which I hate because when you have growth and I knew Dr. Jones only because he was kind of my backup to Dr. Lee. Okay, well now my I don't have a backup to Dr. Jones. There's people in the office, I just don't know them yet. So anyway, that's who I'm gonna go to, is Dr. Jones's backup, which was kind of sad because I was in the chemo chair. So you know, you get your blood drawn, well, you don't know this. Um, those of you that live this life know. Uh, you get like a CBC drawn, so they do my arm and they draw blood and then I go back and um, get treated. So Friday I went in and uh, I've had one dose of Gemzar, by the way. Go in Friday, and the girl sitting next to me, getting our arms poked, she's like, oh, you go to Dr. Jones? And I said, oh, I do. Um, and she's like, oh, he gave me a referral for, um, for a doc. I wonder if that's who you go to. And I go, oh, for, for Dr. Jones? And she's like, oh, no, no, no. I'm staying with Dr. Jones. And I looked, I looked at the nurse. I'm like, oh, she doesn't know, does she? Um, so, yeah, Dr. Jones is now leaving. So now I'm going to go to Dr. Mushtaq. Never met him. Um, he knows I use pot and will not quit. And he's fine with it. So I already love him in that aspect. That he's open to other things which I have to tell you what I did and you're going to laugh. Um, I'll tell you that in a minute, but, um, I went in Friday when I got my CBC, they said that my platelets were dangerously low and that I couldn't have treatment. And I've only had one treatment so far and I was not happy that just makes me anxious like not being able to have treatment freaks me out and then um a girl was on the stage four pages today and said how she got her second dose of the vaccine and is going to the er because of low numbers and blah blah, blah. and i'm like Fuck. i get my second dose on thursday 
So um, send out any prayers or juju to the universe. I'll take it. Um, okay, so here's the funny thing that I did. And one, you guys are going to probably disown me after I say this, but I'm not a coffee drinker. I only drink coffee in Canada. I don't know why. Everybody after dinner had coffee and it's kind of like when in Rome. And so I got kind of into coffee in, in Canada, but I don't drink it here. So I read things about liver and what can help heal your liver. And one thing was coffee. And I was like, oh, of course. I mean, you might as well have said chocolate. So I bought a baby Keurig, a little tiny, because Jason makes espresso and weird crap. Um, and I just wanted like coffee so that I could put a whole bunch of cream in it and sugar. But I'll let you know if that helps any. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's kind of been my month. It's been... Like, to hear you have growth, you have to change your treatment. My radiation oncologist changing offices. My oncologist moving. I mean, and then we've got a girl not doing well. I'm just kind of, it's been a, it's been a big month. Um... I'm going to leave you with something that I stupidly decided. I don't know, stupidly. Um, my dad called last week, kind of in the midst of me having a hard week, and said, did you see that the three-day is happening in San Diego this year, which is Coleman's 60-mile walk over three days, so it's 20 miles a day. And... I did it in 2019, I'm trying to think with COVID, what, when that would have been, but it was 2019 in Boston. So I want to do the next, I wanted to do San Diego, but then when COVID happened, it was like, yeah, that's not going to happen. And so I kind of assumed my three day days were over. However, my dad called and said, Hey, I want to walk. And would you guys want to come out? And you know, I, you know, I could do this and it'd be great if I could do this for you. And I said, well, why can't I do it? Um, because I tend to be the kind of person where if you tell me I can't, then I'm going to show you that you're wrong. So I just told him I'm hoping to do 60 miles. If I can't and I only do five, I do five. But I'm hoping come November, knock on wood, that's so far away, uh, that I can do the, the three day. My sister and her friend signed up too, so that's really fun. So there's gonna be a little group of us and I'm really excited. Um, but I guess that's it. So if you have any questions that you want Michelle to ask me, and make a comment below. Um, I guess that's it. I'll talk to you guys soon. I swear, I just have been in a hole. It's been... It tries you mentally when you're... You just get exhausted when you're so stressed and anxious and when you have liver growth and they're telling you like, you got to get this liver under control and your this and that and blah, blah, blah. You know, like you, your wheels just start turning and your, your, I feel like a failure. Like there's only so like, God bless when you keep failing these PET scans, you're just like, cause you can't do anything about it. Like it's, I, I can't make this go away. I can only try to control it as little as I can as far as like, I have no control over it, but I'm gonna be as healthy as I can and set myself up the best that I can. 
but then when you like hear that you have growth in your liver, it knocks you down. And then you have something go on with your doctor. They, you know, doctor leaves, knocks you down. Doctor leaves, knocks you down. That you just, you get to the point where you're just like, what the hell? Like, hello universe, throw me a bone. So I'll take the bone and the brain reduction. I'd take a liver though. Like if we can get a little, throw me a liver. I'll take it. I guess that's all I know. I'm getting is it. Okay. Everyone have a good week. I promise I will be on tomorrow and show you what's in the box. For the kids. I will get back with my kids. I need to just... I'm in a better place now, even though I don't know who my oncologist is. My radiologist still doesn't have a phone number that if I need him, I don't have a way to get a hold of him. And I'm good. So I'm starting to learn to like coffee. Anybody has any Keurig tips, let me know as far as flavors. Okay.